extremely Jewish because then people are like, oh, well, this is why you have these connections. This is why you have all this money. They'd rather go undercover. Well, it's a conspiracy theory to say that Jewish people run whole industries or that Jewish people would ever work together. So obviously, like, so I mean, how could you even say that? That's just a fucking conspiracy theory. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is crazy how many of them yeah. change their names. That's when I started seeing that. Yeah. You want to hear a conspiracy theory? Do you want to know why I think that all of the uh, Israelis have changed their names and why you can't do uh, DNA tests on anyone who lives in Israel or is Israeli? Do you want to know why? Guess. Wrong. I think it's because they're hiding that they're freaking Nancys. Yep. Bibi Netanyahu, he's from Philly, you know that? <laughs> that man is a Nancy. You can't do DNA tests because they don't want everyone to find out that their lineage traces back to Bormann and Eichmann and Mengele and fucking all the other ones that didn't die like they were supposed to have. Yo, Jake Shields, you want to hear some crazy shit about people changing their names? What about Otto Scorzani moving to Florida and then working for the CIA for the next 60 years? Huh? Oh, oh, what about Alwa Bruner, who came to America and lived in Florida and worked for the CIA for the next 60 years? Hey, bro, what about Reinhard Galen, who literally started working for the CIA immediately after WW2? What about Frank Wisner? Hey, what about Walter Ralph? He moved to Florida afterwards. Hey, what about Joe Mangley? He did the anthrax stuff in, from New Jersey, dude. He did. He did. And then... Hey, what about all these ones that they didn't even change their name? Or wait, that that's the main one. That's the Werner one. But what about all these ones? What about all these thousands of scientists, you know? And and all of the psychiatrists and stuff and all of the genetic scientists and eugenicists and stuff, they feel more like Lebensborn, like German, than they do Jewish to me. But I, I'm just a dumb guy. I like to read sometimes. I do that. And I keep running into Nancy's. So I, I'm not sure how you get to the bottom of uh, how you get to everyone is Jewish, but I keep finding that everyone is a, you know, swastika lover. Ian, what's the truth, buddy? Hey, you want to you wanna know another really weird thing about someone's name change? You know what I heard? I heard that this guy's name was actually George Scherf and that he is from Austria, which is weird because then he wouldn't have been able to be the American president because you're supposed to have been born here, right? That would be a big conundrum, I think, but what do I know? Anyway, back to Jake Shields' horrid takes.